Hey there, Lakers fans. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to stay updated on all things Lakers. Big news from the Lakers offseason. They're eyeing veteran sharpshooter Evan Fournier. After missing out on Gary Trent Jr., who signed with the Milwaukee Bucks, the Lakers are looking to make a move in free agency. With a full roster of 15 guaranteed contracts, they'll need to create some space if they want to bring in a veteran player on a minimum deal. Paul Kasabian from Bleacher Report has been analyzing the options available, and Evan Fournier has emerged as a potential target. Fournier, a 31-year-old shooting guard with 11 years of experience, hasn't seen much action since 2021-22. That year, he averaged 4.1 points on 41.7% shooting, 38.9% from three, in 80 games for the New York Knicks. Fournier fell out of favor with the Knicks before being traded to the Detroit Pistons last February. His time with the Pistons was less productive, averaging just 7.2 points on 37.3% shooting off the bench in 18.7 minutes per game. However, Fournier is set to represent France in the upcoming Summer Olympics, where a strong performance could reignite interest in him, wrote Kasabian on July 16th. What the Lakers need to do for roster flexibility. Currently, the Lakers' options are limited, but they could create room by trading away players or shedding salary. This could potentially allow them to use the $5.2 million taxpayer mid-level exception, according to Jovan Buha from The Athletic by trading out more players than they take in, or dumping Reddish, Wood, and or Hayes into salary, along with one or two second-round picks, to a team with financial and roster flexibility, the Lakers could create enough room under the apron to sign a player to the $5.2 million taxpayer mid-level exception. They could also add a player via trade or sign veteran minimum contract. Buha noted on July 16th how Evan Fournier could benefit the Lakers. The Lakers managed to free up space for a veteran minimum contract by trading away just one player. Fournier could be a compelling option. Despite his recent struggles, Fournier still boasts a career 37.4% three-point shooting average on 5.2 attempts per game. The Lakers have been looking to improve their three-point shooting after ranking near the bottom last season. Even in a reduced role off the bench, Fournier could provide valuable scoring and spacing alongside the likes of LeBron James and Anthony Davis. So Lakers Nation, you think Evan Fournier would be a good addition to the squad? Should the Lakers make moves to create space for him? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.